Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with another Caliber Club Quickie. This is a special episode for Memorial Day and I wanted to show you guys my Luger artillery picked up at the Battle of the Argonne Forest. Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Caliber Club Quickie special episode for Memorial Day. Uh, today's episode I thought it would be kind of neat if I showed you guys my artillery Luger that was picked up at the Battle of the Argonne Forest in World War I. Um, additionally, this pack right here that I'm using for a table, this came, uh, this is fresh back from Afghanistan. One of our boys came back and uh, he wanted to get rid of some of his Milserp stuff, so I bought it up from him, but this still has Afghani sand in it. Kind of cool. Um, but anyway, back to the artillery Luger. I overpaid for this firearm. I'll, I'll go right into that. I paid $4,500 for it. The reason I paid so much was the story behind it, and that was what triggered this episode today was um, the story. If the story was verifiable, I think the, the firearm would be worth, um, you know, worth $4,500 or, or possibly more. Um, but it's not verifiable. Sometimes in life, you're just in a situation and things just happen and you come out happy and I was happy even though I know that uh, I paid a little high for this firearm but the story goes that this firearm was picked up at the Battle of the Argonne Forest in 1918 um, after the major battle ended. Um, there are stains on the handle um, that are appear to be blood. Um, when you hold the handgun in your hand um, you can see where where your fingers would be grooving around and how something splashed up on there and stained and it's very very dark brown almost blackish now at this point I, I think it's blood there's also some pitting um, there's some pitting on the firearm right up in here so if you imagine somebody holding you know holding this this weapon and blood splatter I don't know I, I don't know how that would happen um, blood would come up and it would access all this area here which is um precisely where the stains are on the firearm so I, I i believe the story and that's why i paid the money maybe it's not true i don't know but there was a caveat here and the kicker was that inside of this handle there's some handwriting of the from i believe from the man who picked it up so i wanted to take this apart with you guys i wanted to show you inside of the handle uh get some photographs of that and then uh just show you the gun. That's all I'm trying to do here today. So let's let's get to it. If you're not familiar with the Battle of the Argonne Forest, um, look it up. It's a, it's it's an interesting story. I'm not a history buff, so I'm not going to really go into uh, into the in depth history on it. I, I'll probably mess it up. Uh, but what I do know about the Battle of Argonne Forest was that it occurred, uh, I believe, from September to November of 1918. Um, the U.S. suffered like 190,000 casualties, 26,000 deaths or something like that. In total, um, there was something like 350,000 casualties uh, between all the Allied forces. So it was a pretty brutal, uh, a pretty darn brutal scene. So um, let's go ahead and I'm going to take this handle off and we're going to see if we can actually figure out what it says inside. So I just got my handy wheeler. Um, I believe it was this grip. Uh, and of course we're going to be extremely careful because I don't know where I can get an original factory screw or handle or anything for this firearm. So let's see. Okay, underneath the grip there's writing and it's it's a bit hard to decipher. I'm going to take some photographs of this um, and I'm going to try to pull it out. Uh, maybe with some of my photo editing software I can kind of pull out the colors. And um, But what it says is at the very top it says Luger Artillery. I believe it looks like Luger A something. Um, Taken from Captain Mike, I can't read over here, I don't know, it's so hard to make out, but it, it might be referencing how he was killed, light, light machine gun, I don't know, I'm going to see what I can pull out of there, um, but it's dated 10-6 uh, of 1918, um, something in the Argonne. 
it's a very, very, very interesting piece. And like I said, I know that I paid a lot of money for this gun. Um, and I'm okay with how much I paid for it. I kind of tend to believe the story. I think the, uh, the reality here is that the blood stains, if they're blood, you know, they match up. They make sense where your fingers would be on the firearm. Um, that's where they're at. Now, the other very, very interesting piece here, I'll put this back together real quick, is that on the other side, carved into the wooden handle, are two notches, which I would assume would have indicated enemy kills. Um, and so I would assume those are American kills. But maybe not. Very, very interesting. A very, very interesting piece. And I just wanted to take a few minutes here and share this with you guys on Memorial Day. So I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time.